Hello everyone, today we are back playing more Minecraft, and today we are going to be making an enchanting room. So I have the doorway over here, and I'm probably going to cut in a minute and clear out a lot of this dirt, and when we get back, I'm going to start um, just filling in the room with things that make it look nice, and the enchanting room, I have some special plans for it, um, where the enchanting table will go and stuff, so I'm going to cut now and we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we're back, and I believe this is all that needs to be cleared out. Um, doesn't even need to be cleared out right there. So I'm just going to fill the floor in with plain wood and fill the walls and ceiling in. And then we'll be back to cut out the space for the enchanting table in the ground. And after that, I'll just fix it up a bit, and I think we'll be done. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so I got a little bit carried away while I was working, and just kind of kept going. So, the enchanting room actually is pretty much done, except um, I may want to do some stuff at those corners. But, um, yeah, now we can get level 30 enchants, and I actually want to go make a pick and enchant level 30 pick right now. So you can see I put crafting tables in there just because I needed some place to put them because I really didn't have any around my house anywhere. I also have to fix up top there's an issue with the ceiling being too high in here so um, you can see the wood outside so I need to fix that too. Ooh. Okay, well, it's Silk Touch. I would prefer on breaking on a Silk Touch pick, but, you know, I guess that's okay. The issue, though, is right here. Just make it look a little bit more natural. And then that can grow in. So I think the enchanting room is complete, and now I am going to make a nether portal room this episode over on the exact opposite side, just because I want to start getting glowstone from the nether. So I think the door will be exactly opposite, and will look the exact same with the wood trim around it. So I'm going to cut again and cut out the inside that I want. It'll probably be a little bit smaller, maybe just a big hallway. I'm not sure, we'll see in a bit. Okay guys, so I've cleared everything out. It's just gonna be a big hallway. Um, I made the door two by two because um, I just wanted it to be able to be a long hallway and the other portal will be uh, too wide the part you walk into and I don't really mind that it's not symmetrical with this door because well, it works doesn't really matter to me but I think I'm gonna see if I can use a different block like stone bricks for in here just because I don't want to be using wood through this whole thing I want to be able to use other blocks but I'm not sure if it's gonna look good or not so if it does then I'll use it but if not then I'll just scrap it and go back to using the wood like I have been so I'll test it right now I should probably light this up um I guess it'll do for now. I don't know if I like it too much, but it'll work. No problem. So I'm just going to keep cooking this stone and slowly filling this in with stone bricks. And when I get back, um, I'll put the nether portal in and hopefully the room will be filled. 
So I'm going to cut here and see you guys in a bit. Okay everyone, so we're back and the room is finished and after it's done, uh, it doesn't look so bad. I may actually put doors on here and maybe on the enchanting room. But so we're going to light this up and we're not going to go in until next episode, but next episode will be an exploration and gathering episode in the nether and we can see if we have any nether ward or blaze spawners in there that we can use to make potions and stuff so you can look forward to that i'll see you guys tomorrow peace